Good day folks, in today's video we're gonna take a look at the new 2025 release of 3D Code and some of the exciting features it brings to the table. And if you don't know what this 3D software is all about, Pilgways 3D Code is a powerful sculpting and texturing tool that continues to evolve with each update. Over the past few years, it has seen significant enhancements and new capabilities that place it confidently alongside top 3D software available today. This new 2025 milestone release brings a wave of UI and UX enhancements, including brand new themes, a streamlined hotkey manager, real-time research functionality, and updated interface elements. On the sculpting side, there is the addition of the soft booleans, powerful new area tools, the exciting new node room for non-destructive shader creation and editing, as well as infinite depth sculpting. The update also introduces a new modeling approach with a smart hybrid system, deeper integration with reality capture for photogrammetry workflows, and improved export options such as normal map to mesh conversion and photo voxel PBR import and export. Pingway drops new builds all the time, but 2025.08 is the first one officially labeled as part of the 2025 series. A lot of features like reality capture support and the new array tools were already showing up in the late 2024 builds, but this release pulls it all together in one solid update. For a deeper dive, let's start with soft booleans. We all know what a boolean is, when you insert one object into another object and combine or cut them. Normally this gives you a hard, sharp result, but with soft booleans, you get a smooth, blended transition between the two objects. Think of molding clay. This is very useful for creating clean and organic forms, without those hard seams. It allows you to adjust the radius of the bevel based on your brush size, so depending on the amount of softness in addition to use case, you can easily adjust that as well. Next is the new nodes room. It is currently implemented only for the sculpt objects, meaning high poly or voxels. It is a fully node-based workflow for building shaders and real 3D effects. Each node has a set of properties that can be customized and configured to be used with other properties. They also provide real-time displacement of high poly surface mesh or voxel objects. Additionally, all those nodes can be modified or recreated in a programming language close to GLSL. It is worth noting that material nodes or paint objects, meaning low poly, UV matte meshes in the paint workspace, are still in development and hopefully will be released soon during the 2025 cycle. Right now it is in early development, but even at this stage, it is already really powerful. On top of the PBR workflow, you can create and change non-destructive volumetric and surface shaders in the sculpt workspace. Photogrammetry is another area that saw improvement. The integration with reality capture includes now a new fit tool for quickly aligning multiple scans in addition to better texture baking, so you can merge them into one clean model without seams. This makes handling complex scan projects faster and keeps the whole process inside 3D code, which is a great thing. The surface array tool has been officially added to the sculpt room, so now you can easily scatter objects not just along curves like before, but across any surface that you choose, including selected mesh faces. This makes tasks like creating chain mail or roof tiling a breeze. On the modeling side of things, infinite depth via the move tool is another option that allows you to push or pull geometry to an infinite depth down to the camera axis. Normally, the move tool only affects the object within a 3D spherical radius. This makes it super easy for symmetrical tweaks or large-scale form changes. Another new addition is the hotkey manager for 3D code and 3D code textura, making it easier than ever to edit or add a new hotkey for any tool, in addition to any brush or menu item. This is a huge time saver, especially if you are someone who likes to use shortcuts a lot. Just to be clear, the option to hover over any tool or brush and hit end key to assign a shortcut used to exist before. But now, you also have a central manager to see, edit, and organize all your hotkeys. The next one is a really interesting feature called Normal Map to Mesh. It does the reverse of baking by taking the details from a normal map and turning them into an actual geometry. So instead of just faking bumps and grooves, 3D code can now convert them into real shapes that you can use as a base for further sculpting to export or even 3D print. In the UI and UX department, we have a ton of improvements too, and I'm gonna talk about a few of them real quickly. First, the new 18 built-in UI themes. 
which you can switch between in the splash panel to instantly change the look of the software. The e-panel now lets you draw shapes, also the folder picker is easier to use, plus you have new text and shape layers in the paint room, which have their own icons, much like you see in Photoshop. Clicking on their icons immediately puts the artist in the edit mode for quick and easy changes. You also got a new extended edge loops options in the UV and Retopo. This is great for marking seams on tricky or triangular meshes. And by the way, Blender 4.2 is supported through the updated uplink. And there is now instant search across assets like alphas, materials, objects, layers, and presets. You can enable an outline around selected sculpt objects for easier multi-object scene management. Newer versions of Blender are not yet fully supported due to major changes in the Blender add-ons. Rovoxel export and import support full PBR data, large scenes save faster, and you can paint directly on voxels with topologically constrained painting. In addition, Retopo via decimation can process multiple objects at once, and you can drag and drop volumes. The noise tool now works in multi-resolution and proxy mode, and the tweak room is gone, with these tools instead moved to the paint room, which is just below the paint tools in the tool panel. For pixel painting is faster, and the render room now refreshes instantly when you change layer settings. Lastly, there are numerous performance improvements, especially noticeable in a complex sculpt scene. For example, there is faster tool switching, smoother layer handling, and a general speed boost across the board, not to mention a long list of bug fixes and small tool updates. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and try 3D Code today completely for free for 30 days with all the features unlocked. After that, you can keep using it in the learning mode, which gives you all the tools but limits your export options. If you don't like subscriptions, there is a perpetual license for about 379 euros. You can also go with a monthly subscription or a rent to own plan where you pay monthly and keep the license after a set of number of payments. There is even a lighter texturing only version called 3D Code Textura that costs much less. So if you want to try 3D code for free, just hit the link in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, let's give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.